Jack 3 was rated T for Teen by the ESRB and contains fantasy violence, language, suggestive themes, and use of tobacco. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone, my name is Emma Ronneth and I play games for the internet and today we're playing Jack 3. It's... I just noticed Jack has closed toe shoes. Yes! Uh, after also, not Mel's having here. shoes in Precursor Legacy. Yes, Mel is here. As I'm pointing as though A, people can see me, and B, you're here. And Neither not of which in my is own true. State. <laughs> and not like four hours south of you. Yeah. That was a sudden audio cut. Yes. Well, they had to change to the the different music. Yeah, but I think they should have faded. Well, listen, clearly the audio is not the best of this game. But the audio given how many, mixing. Given the audio bugs we've encountered. Yeah. This is me being like, wait, where am I going? Ah, right, this way. I love- wait, is that still headless? Uh, yes. I love it. It- like, once you blow it up, it stays blown up. I like that. Nice little bit of continuity. Yeah. Unlike Jack's shoulder armor. Yeah. <laughs> we may have a way to reach Freedom HQ. Jinx here has a plan. Hey, Jackie boy! Long time no see! I think we got a boomer of a plan here. You know those nasty blast bots you've seen around? Well, I captured one. Don't ask. I'll show you the scars later. I've rigged that baby with a remote control and even more explosives than the standard package. Jack, link it to the remote and direct that blast bot into the KG area. If you can get the blast bot close enough to the Freedom League border and blow it up, it should punch a hole in the defensive line there and allow us to hook up with our comrades. So, I have to be honest. During practice, I did this mission perfectly. Like, I took no damage, and I made it all the way to where I had to go, like, without getting hit once. That changed, didn't it? For the recording? Absolutely. But also, Jinx, and I'll show you the scars later. My dude. Yeah. <laughs> everyone in this game wants to hit on Jack. Like, everyone is flirting with Jack in this game. I, I can't don't think get Jack is. No. I don't think Tess is. Mm. I, don't I don't think she's lately doing so. Jack's Jack Jack pretty Tess OT free anyway. <laughs> I think I think um Jake is late. Oh, I think so late. But like there's also, like, that's just how Jinx is. Uh-huh. Uh I kind of love Jack's little eye roll, and I'll show you my scars later, though. Yeah, it's like, oh, come on. <laughs> because if there's anyone who's going to win the coolest scar contest, it's probably Jack. <laughs> yeah. Also, I see what you mean about, about not doing it perfectly. Yeah. I'm mad about it. I'm still mad about it. Because, yeah, it, it sucks when you get, like, this perfect, amazing run in practice, and then just... And then you completely beef it in, in, in public. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. It's fine. Nobody expects perfect gameplay from me. Yeah. Least of all myself. Over. Perfection is over, Raven. Yup. I barely beat this mission. <laughs> barely. But you beat it. I did. 
Great job. We can link up with the Northern Front now. I'll get on the horn to HQ and give them the good news. You're the man, Jack. You are the man. You were con wondering about uh, if we got uh, another gun? There are four types of guns. We get three, uh, three guns each. Oh, so we're going to get three Dark Ego guns. Yes. We still have not gotten my favorite gun in this game. Oh. So let's just... Uh, yes. Just, like, get that. Get that. Come on. There we go. Good job, Pastor Ronneth. Yeah. Pastor Ronneth. <laughs> As opposed to Pastor Ronneth. Which is exactly. a very different, very different person. Potentially a delicious one. Potentially. The dash is in a different place. Uh, also, I should have thought that, thought that through before I said it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been having that problem. Part of the still You're piece. fine. Um, I just did not we think. This week. And I have said something accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> I know you won't eat me. Yeah, I'm not too into cannibalism. It's very, like, not nutritious. Mm, actually, no, it could be pretty nutritious. Depends on depends on the diet, really. Mm. Uh, I should then I'm gonna stop overanalyzing this like now. I'm honestly, I'm more concerned. Oh, uh, there's. Like a disease you get from eating brains. That's like the biggest concern with cannibalism. Anyway, I'm not looking it up right now. I don't have the patience. Uh, Peru. Yep. And I got off my. my, uh. zoomer. Get that stuff and it's gone. <laughs> nice. Like it despawned. <laughs> Straight up. I had to go find a new one. Mine now. Appropriation. Yep. yep. The uh what the fuck? It's like the music immediately changes as soon as you're on a zoomer. Or maybe I just entered a different part of the map? I- I don't know. I don't hear any music. Oh, it's, there it is. Yeah. I think it's the same music, just it restarted itself. Eh. I think one is I just the combat music, maybe? Fair. But yeah, it's very clear audio was not the top priority of this port. Nope. <laughs> Trying to get on the one I didn't steal and just end up boosting a car accidentally. You ever have that problem when you're just trying to get into your own car and instead you punch the guy in the car next to you and you drag him out and you take that car instead? Oh, yeah, all the time. Yeah, it's a real common problem. Yeah, especially for protagonists. Mm -hmm. I did, in fact, hear that motherfucker who said he missed the old Baron. I'm choosing to ignore it this time. He can be wrong. He can be wrong out of my hearing. <laughs> He's allowed to have wrong opinions. <sighs> We have to allow people to be wrong about things. It's fine. Ex exactly. I love Daxter's little ear bobbles. Yeah. So cute. Take these with me. Hello, fellow peeps and cronies. That's right. The Daxtonator is back in the building. Daxter, Jack, you did it. It's about time you two got here. What took you so long? Sorry, we only had a war in the way. Great work, Jack. 
Let me be the first to officially apologize for the city. Forget about it. I've got my own interest in this. Well, what we know right now is there's a huge dark planet builder bearing down on us all. How much time we have, no one can guess. If it is rogue precursor technology, then the only way to destroy it is with more precursor technology. And that lies at the bottom of the catacombs. Also, the large number of eco crystals being moved about can mean only one thing. Someone is trying to awaken vast precursor technology. I think Vigor's behind it. Or Errol. Or maybe... Oh, oh! Wait till you hear about my adventures in the wasteland. So there I was, facing a whole brood of slobbering metalheads, when all of a sudden... Uh-oh. It looks like a large-scale assault. Multiple targets inbound. You up for some action, Jack? Look who you're talking to. Let's rock and roll, Dax. Oh, great, oh, Jack's here. Help. Let's just have him solve all of our problems for us instead of doing anything ourselves. Which is unfair to the Freedom League because they're clearly, like, out here and struggling. But the keyword there is struggling. They're failing. They're failing quite effectively. Get out of the way and you won't get shot. <laughs> I was saying this during the cutscene though. How does Samos know what a Dark Maker planet builder is? Ever. We use the Peacemaker more in this game than we did in Jack 2. That's me misfiring. What is Torn gonna do? Torn sent us! <laughs> We're your backup. We are all of your backup. We are the only backup you get. Last one. Nice shooting. Find a way back here, Jack. <laughs> Jack, uh, Ashland has a really high um, estimation of Jack's intelligence. Mmm. Best, best defense. defense. It's a good offense. Yeah. So, one guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fuck this game. Nice moves, my boy. You're the best man we've got to lead an expedition into the catacombs. Please, please, let us not be too hasty. Are you sure you want this dark ego freak contaminating the hallowed halls of our glorious precursors? I should leave the expedition myself. We're tired of your scheming, Vigor. I've got the answer you're looking for. My precursor monks have given me the knowledge to turn on the planetary defense grid. If you beg me to do so. Jack's always gotten us through thick and thin. I'm with him. Here, here. You washed up, Vegan. Vega, it's Vega, you idiot. Whatever. Count Vega, I hereby dissolve the city council and strip you of your title, command, and all privileges. Now get out of my sight. What? How dare you? I offered you mercy, but now you will all burn in the precursor fires of creation. I swear it. That was one hell of an attack wave. We can't continue to repel such large assaults forever. That floating war factory has got to be shut down. The problem is, the factory is shielded and has gate codes on every access point. Most old KG door ciphers were kept hidden in the main system at the power room. If you can break into the system, you may be able to unlock the war factory doors to get inside. Onan says the eco grid in the power room could help you. But to open the old power room, you must find the junction box in the sewer. Personally, I think you're crazy to go down there. But, uh, good luck. So, can we talk about what just happened for a minute? Yeah! If Ashlyn had the power to do that to Count Vigor. Why did she let Jack get, uh, 
why did she let Jack get banished in the first place? Also, the argument... The argument I could make is she was trying to not... Step on the will of the people. Okay, and then she just goes and does that? On the other hand, he's, he was starting to make blatant threats. Well, yes, like, I'll save the planet if you beg me. But, but also, like... But it also still feels very personal. Like, it'd be one thing if she's deliberately, if she's cited, like, you are directly trying to hold the safety of this planet hostage for your ego. Yeah, it, this, this is, you're being mean about my friend. Mm -hmm. And so we're just going to strip you of your title and like, like. Also, that said, that said, I no still think she should have. Of the council itself. Nope, she has unilateral authority. Apparently. That said, I do think. Um, oh. You shall burn in the precursor fires of creation. Does yeah. kind of count as like a blatant threat, and I think she should have responded to that fact. I, I mean, yes, she absolutely should have had him arrested. I just, oh <laughs> my fucking god. Well, <laughs> but yeah, like it. The reactions feel a bit weird to me. Yeah. Like, here's the thing. If she had if she had stripped him of authority after he said, like, you know, you will burn in the precursor fire fires of creation. Oh, no, no, I, no. I, no, she... I'm saying, I could see, no, I'm saying, if she had done that, if, uh... I could see that being as basically, okay, you're starting to make blatant threats here now for not getting your way. We cannot have such a person in the council. Yeah, but she didn't just uh, she didn't just strip him of all of his titles and everything. She disbanded the council. Yeah, no, that's enough. Also tell asks you, makes you wonder how many people are on this council. Like, was the whole council there? Was it just them? Plus this Vigor guy? And if that was the case, how did they get the vote to get Vanish Jack cast in the first place? Yeah! This is not how you run a democracy, Ashlyn! No, it isn't! There was a really, really great fic um, about Torn's reaction to that. Um, oh. Because Torn wasn't there. Right. And Torn is basically the lawful good of this game. Um. So there was a really, really great fic. I'll have to find it. Because it was most likely on maybe fanfiction.net? Oh, I don't remember. It was very good, though. Nice. Also, apparently, yeah, I just happened to look this up, again, to monitors. Ashlyn yeah. had noted that the council was too powerful when Jack was being banished and there was nothing she could do. Oh. Yep. Yep. Apparently, yes, there was. That is why she pissed me off so much in this game. Like, maybe it seemed a little, like, much, uh, earlier, but, like, that. You know, that Whee! whole, like, oh, I can't do anything except this is me doing something. Well, you see, now Jack is useful. Mm, Jack was useful before. But now Jack is, like, vitally useful. Uh, if the, around that corner that I just totally skipped past is a secret area that has a precursor orb in it. Huh. 
I got it in practice. Not in the recording. Yeah. Oh god. That 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 was a that was a thing that just happened. That was an animation glitch. Yeah. Oh, good time. <laughs> but yeah, like the little bit that bit of like hypocrisy basically just yeah. This is me off so much. It's a writing inconsistency that I don't like. I feel like I do think it, they could have given it another go around in the editing room. Like, I guess that this is, you know, an early 2000s action platformer game. It... But you're a writer. Uh, yes, I am a writer, and, like, that's just something that I used to never let fly. I would have had him, like, I would have had her, like, be, like, you're making blatant threats. Uh, I guess. Oh, no, I don't. Ooh! Yay! You guys keep the surprises uh, coming. The power room door is now open, Jack. I would have had her be like, I would have had him like, like hold, be like, if you beg me to do so, I'll do this. I would have had her be like, you are threatening the safety of the people of Haven City and the world, and I am placing you under arrest uh -huh. uh, for conspiracy <laughs> like and shit like that. Something that makes a little more sense. And then I could have, and then like you could have had him be like, absolutely not, you'll never take me alive, blah blah blah, and then have him leave if you need him to show up later. Or just cap him. I mean, yes. But, spoilers! He shows up again later. <laughs> no! <sighs> yeah, so like, because you need him to show up later, like, have him, like, literally fight his way out. Ah, remember this place? I sure miss good old Vin. Yeah, he was a good guy. A bit crazy. Hey, who are you calling crazy? I can't help it if the world is out to get me. Finn! Wait a minute. Is that you? Yeah, it's me. Well, actually, no, it's not. I'm a multi-layered, hyperlinking, digi-memic, bioconstruct, super-clocked, mega-memory construct, baby. Did you understand a word he said? When the city was overrun by metalheads, before they got to me, I dumped my brain into the eco-grid. Everything's great now. Those monsters can't get me in here. Or can they? Listen, Finn, I'm happy you're whatever you are. But right now, I need to get into the war factory, but the doors are sealed. We think the code to open the doors is hidden in this system. It is. Really? Positive. Can you get it for us? Negative. Why not? Because if you have half a brain cycle, you'd know that those access codes are guarded by the central system. Ancient, nasty circuits in there. Even we bit brains can't nibble around there without getting our butts erased. Just get us close. Oh, sure, yeah. <laughs> it's your death. If you fail, I can always use a companion in here. All of the fun we'll have. Let's hope. Oh, God, let's hope. It doesn't come to that. When I put you into the system, the main security will slam down hard. It'll be up to you to beat the system and get out, or get eco-zapped for good. You check some? Okay, Vin, baby. Jack me in. Wait for it, wait for it. Okay, input. Game on! And now we play Pac-Man. Wait, if we're checking in, we're not playing Battle Network. Nope. We're playing Pac-Man. So I am so excited for the Battle Network no. the selection. Uh, now Battle Network. That's the Mega Man RPG, right? Yes. I all never six of them. It. It's looking bad. I never played it. I enjoy them. Um, you need to be the the combat's pretty action based. No. Right, boy. Shut up, Ben. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. 
It did take an awful lot of attempts to do this. And 90% of all of my deaths in those was the same bullshit that you saw in that first attempt. Which is not fun. Nope. This is my least favorite minigame. It's looking bad. You have. No, it's fine! It, yeah, <laughs> especially if it's like. When you have that, every time you you pass by the thing too close, it's looking bad. No, it's not. I like. I appreciate Vin that you have anxiety. It's yep. looking bad. Whew. That yeah. one actually was close. Yeah. But yeah, Vin, I appreciate your anxiety. Yeah, uh, I was telling Mel during the cutscene, I don't remember where it's no. officially written down. Uh, I think it's in, like, one of, I think it's in, like, the guide or, like, the, uh, uh, manual, uh, that Vin, what Vin has is officially diagnosed as horoquanophobia. And it's the precursor bad. term for metalheads is Horakwan. So it's just very, very fun. Uh, so Horakwanophobia, fear of metalheads. Which, honestly, yeah. Got the cypher. Great work, Jack. She's got the info beamed here. That cypher key will unlock the war factory doors. We'll get on it right away and get back to you. Listen, Ben, we've got things to do, but we'll keep in touch. We promise. We'll keep in touch, says somebody who never speaks to him again. Anyway, Aww. that's all for this episode. <laughs> we'll see you next time when we do more stuff. Woo! Woo! Anyway, take care Bye. of yourselves, y'all. Bye!